Hi, this is Margo. This is Thursday, July 5th, 2018. And what I'm looking at today is a different website where we can track sea ice. We can track the Arctic sea ice and also the Antarctic sea ice. This is from the National Snow and Ice Data Center. Now the data is collected from a satellite. It's it's part of the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program. So, I'm on this website. It's nsidc.org. And then you put a slash in and it's Arctic Sea Ice News slash. And you'll come up with this page and you can see the daily image. This is from yesterday and we're going to click on a larger view of this in a minute. This is um, this provides imagery for a lot of different websites and I found this announcement kind of interesting before I show you the data. This was posted on June 22nd and it says DMSP F18 to undergo testing late June, early July. So I'm going to read you this paragraph here. The Defense Meteorological Satellite Program DMSP F18 satellite will be undergoing testing from June 25th to 29th and from July 9th to 12th. During this time Data from the Special Sensor Microwave Image Sounder, or SSMIS, sensor on F-18 may have degraded quality or may not be collected. DMSP F-18 is the primary sensor that provides NSIDC with near real-time data for sea ice monitoring. The NSIDC-0081, the Sea Ice Index, and the Arctic Sea Ice News and Analysis webpage. If the data quality does not meet operational standards, NSIDC will remove the resulting sea ice fields, or NSIDC may not distribute data from the F-18. FSSMIS during the test periods. Now I always get red flags when I see a test like this coming up, especially in the middle of summer where we have such quickly melting Arctic sea ice and the methane blowing up in the Arctic and out of the Atlantic Ocean and uh, you know off the coast of England and Norway and and off the coast of the United States and Canada so I just find this very curious that they're gonna do this testing they did the testing for five four days back in June and now it's coming up July 9th through the 12th so what this means is we may not have satellite imagery available 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And so if anything happens in the Arctic during that time, like if we have a methane bomb go off or anything like that, we won't be able to see it. So I just found that was interesting and wanted to share it with everyone. But... Um, this is a, a good website. A lot of people use it. A lot of people go to it. This is uh, the daily satellite image. This, this is a day old. This is from yesterday, July the 4th, 2018. Looking down at the North Pole, and here's a graph. Now, let's just click on it, and we'll see a larger view. And we can see the sea ice extent as of yesterday. And here's Novaya Zemlya, here's Greenland, and then we go to the next image. And what you're looking at here is the sea ice concentration as of yesterday. Now that's different than extent. 
Extent is just where it's covering, where there is some kind of sea ice covering. The concentration means how how much ice is actually gathered in one area. And so here's our our explanation graph and it goes down to 15% because they say once it reaches 15% it's pretty much gone. So we can have a blue ocean event without it being completely, completely every little tiny bit melted. The blue ocean event is considered when the sea ice concentration goes down to 15%. So when, where you see the white up here, that's at 100%. So we have a little bit up at 100% right in the center, right around the North Pole. And then where you start see, seeing the blue merge in, that means that the concentration is less. It might be thinner. It might be uh, not, as, not as solid. There might be cracks in it. I mean, it's definitely melting. And the temperature over the Arctic is above zero. So um, it's definitely melting. And where you get into the darker blues, that's where you have less sea ice concentration. And you can see, like over here, there's no sea ice off the coast, where it's just blue, this blue, blue. There's no sea ice to speak of. But where it's like, um, we can see like this is around 20% here in this little inlet. This is around 20%, maybe a little higher. But where it's a lighter blue, it's a uh, greater concentration. So this, I would say this area here um, that's really melting fast is around um, 70. It looks like 70 percent to me. And then here's a little bit darker. Now this is the East Siberian ice shelf right along here. Here is Siberia. They've had incredible heat and incredible methane and surface ozone and um, so lots of permafrost melting, lots of stuff happening there. And so the water that's draining into the ocean from the rivers is going to be warmer. So it's heating up the ocean too, in addition to the air being warmer up there. So we can see down here Greenland is, it's all melted all around um, Greenland on the west side just about and the east side up to the midpoint. And then the north part of Greenland still has good coverage. And then we can see in the uh, North Northwest Territories of Canada or the Northern Territories, it's melting a lot here. I forget what this is. I'm thinking it's Lake Huron. I've got to learn my geography a little better. And then it's melting um, all, all or off the coast of Alaska. And then this is Russia over here. So that's where that is as of July 4th. Now, if we click on this arrow, this is the latest graph of area of ocean with at least 15% sea ice in the Arctic. This blue is this year. And here we are into July. And this dotted line was 2012. And that's the lowest we've had uh, of sea ice um, in the summertime of, of any, any year that, that's been recorded. <clears throat> that's why that's kind of set as the lowest. And so we were lower than 2012 until June, and then we're a little bit above 2012 now um, through June and into July. But we're definitely lower than the 1981 to 2010 median. That's this area up here. <coughs>
<clears throat> and if we click on this arrow, now we get to see the Antarctic ice and this this brown line around the edge shows the median ice edge between 1981 to 2010. And so you can see how the Antarctic or the South Pole ice has melted, is decreasing, and this is this is uh, Western Antarctica. This is the where the Roth ice, uh, the Roth Sea is, and um, there's actually an active volcano down here, Mount Erebus. I'm going to be doing a show on Antarctica, and it is an active volcano, and it's it's tall. It's like over 12,000 feet, and it's not blowing up, but it is releasing emissions and um i that's what i saw as re for the the source of the sulfur dioxide released from the antarctic so um we do have that going on there is um a glacier over here that has an active volcano underneath i think and it's it's um it's melting really fast but then we see uh a big loss of sea ice up here on the north. Now this next image I'm going to show you is quite disturbing and quite surprising and so I wanted to share this with you. This is the Antarctic sea ice concentration and so just like what we saw in the Arctic we have this graph over here with the colors from white down to blue down to the 15% and under and they're in winter time down there in the north in the south pole so being winter time i'm thinking this sea ice should be thicker it should be thicker and more dense and more concentrated than it is and so um, that's why you've seen all these articles up recently about everyone's worried about the Antarctic sea ice melting fast, like three times faster than expected, five times faster than expected, because as this melts, it's it's um, adding adding water to the ocean levels and causing sea levels to rise a lot faster around the world and causing flooding on co coastal cities and things like that. So I found this image quite shocking to see how the concentration is just not there in the in the South Pole in the Antarctic and you can see even like on the coast see that concentration here on the West Antarctic is like 60 percent or lower even and so and even here on the east side right along the coast it's very very disturbing and then on the edges as well so um and here's our graph for antarctic sea extent now the, it's still the ice is still growing because it's still winter time and it'll grow through August um, and until and that'll be th where it's the largest but um, here is now this dark line is last year last year uh, 2017 the Antarctic sea ice uh, grew less in their winter time than than ever measured and so we were we've been like really close with that line this year where it's growing a little bit more than last year but it's still growing less than the 1981 to 2010 median and if you, then it starts over again oh and I forgot to show on this first image you can see this brown line was the median ice edge between 1981 to 2010 and then it started really melting um, fast like it didn't 
didn't come back out. So I wanted to share this website with everyone. You can track the daily imagery. So let's keep an eye on this and see what's going to be happening during July 9th to 12th with this test and um, see if anything big happens with methane or ozone or sulfur dioxide or you know pole shifts or I mean anything is possible at this point and we'll just look briefly at climate reanalyzer I have the sea ice and snow cover map up here for today and this correlates to what we just saw and here is the graph and this goes down you can see once you hit 20 percent that's like pra practically no sea ice so and you can click every time you click it takes you to a different view and you can just keep your mouse in the same place and it'll click there's South America and there's the Antarctic it's um it's an opposite view of what we saw on um, on the Arctic sea ice news it's the opposite view here is that peninsula and this is West Antarctica and East Antarctica so I uh, hope you enjoyed this new information and until next time my name is Margo signing off go in peace God bless and love everyone time is short get your spiritual house in order and I will do a climate cast for uh, in the next couple of days with an overview of everything with methane and um, temperatures and uh, sulfur dioxide and ozone carbon dioxide all of that I'll do that in the next couple of days so stay tuned and uh, be safe <clears throat> God bless goodbye